Hello YouTube, I'm going to be starting a paint.net uh, tutorial series for um, how to use it and all this other stuff. Uh, paint.net is a photo editor that is actually quite powerful and um, it's very open based to uh, making plugins and stuff like that for the program where I will leave a whole bunch of links in the description for you guys. Um, Alright, so first off this is the installation tutorial. I will be making more tutorials later down this uh, week or so. Um, so first thing is, you want to make your way to getpaint.net. Um, you don't need to worry in, about the index or whatever, it's just HTTP. So head over there. Um, don't type in paint.net because you end up on this site, which is not even relevant to them. So don't need that. Uh, when you're there, um, just click on the download uh, link up at the top here, and uh, it should basically give you some instructions of what you need, uh, minimum re system requirements and stuff as well. Uh, you do need uh, framework um, 4.6 for Microsoft.net. Uh, last thing is, you'd click on the download little icon right down here. And then it brings you to .pdn.com, and um, you just click the download link right here, and you'll be able to download it. So after it downloads, you want to navigate to your downloads folder, and you'll have a zip right here called paint.net, and then the version and install. So what you want to do is extract the files to your desktop or wherever you want to. And then you want to, yeah, I'll leave that just in case. Um, you want to open the installer. It'll probably prompt you if you want to open it, blah, blah, blah. So now it brings you to this window right here. And um, you have the Express where it will install to your C drive and have all the um, general settings and stuff, which is it, it's OK for most people. Um, custom allows you to basically choose the path and choose what kind of file formats you want and stuff like that. So I'm going to just go over that. Um, next page you have the license agreement. I suggest going over that just kind of seeing what it's all about. It is free but um, yeah it's it's best always to go over it just to see what the program is about and so you're not breaking any laws or anything like that. Hit agree and next and then this is the default settings I'm just going to click next and I am going to actually browse for my D drive oh, not there D drive and I'm going to put it in my programs uh, paint on that so I'm going to put it here and the reason I'm doing that is because my D drive has more space on it. Uh, you guys can keep it in C drive or just use Express, it doesn't matter much. So you click Next and it will begin to install. Oh, Next. <laughs> Sorry about that. And ready to install. Now it is free software. Um, you don't need to buy it or anything, but if you do want to help the developers out for it, then you can donate to them via PayPal and I'm sure they'll really much appreciate it. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty simple program to use. Uh, next tutorial, I'm gonna basically go over how to um, uh, install plugins and then finally how to get custom fonts and stuff on, into your um, computer so you can actually move, use them in paint.net. So without further ado, thanks for um, watching and if you're new to my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click um, and I'll see you guys next time.